Okay, what you're looking at is the latest model LCD from Electric Bike Technologies. Over here is what we call the push pad, and you have the I button, you have the on off button, uh, you have the luminance button, and uh, here we have a plus and we have a minus. I'm going to hold down the on off button just to show you how to power on and power off. So you hold that down, it will power off. Hold it down again, and it will come up. You'll see the Electric Bike Technologies logo come on the screen. On the screen, starting at the bottom left, you'll see the trip. Then you'll see in here there's a zero. That is actually your uh, power levels. Uh, ODO on the right. Uh, here we have a power, which is basically a, a current indicator. Uh, in the middle, we have miles per hour, which is going to be your speed. And up top here, we have the battery indicator. We have the icon, and then we have the percentage. So we're going to go jump right into the settings. To get into the settings, you're going to hold the minus and the plus from the push pad at the same time. Two seconds there. And that's going to bring up our screen uh, for our settings. We're in the United States, so we're going to have Imperial. Now to navigate this, you're going to use the plus and the minus to go up and down. And then you're going to use the I to make your selection. So for example, in the first one, if you hit the I right now, you would get over to Imperial and then you would go up and down Imperial metric and that will change a couple of things. So we'll leave that there. Once you're satisfied with your selection, you'll hit I to go back. We'll do uh, the minus button to go down. The speed limit is going to be default 20. Uh, you can certainly raise that up and uh, your uh, we'll click I to get onto it and then you hit the plus. You can certainly raise that up to uh, the max, which would be 31. Now, your actual speed is really going to depend on some other factors like your wheel size, motor type, and your battery type. So, I'll just leave that there for now. And I'm going to I get back over here on the left. I'm going to use the minus, arrow, uh, minus button again here. Wheel size. This is going to be set for 26 and 55. It says 26 inches and 559 is actually the millimeters. And this is a standard mountain bike. Now there's several selections in here, so I'll click I to get over. If you go up, it's going to be larger wheel sizes. And there's going to be a chart on this page as well as in your manual um, to show you which one to, to choose. Uh, this 29 is actually 700 C, 622 millimeters. So I'll go back down just to show you. There's a 24. 22, 20, and this is really going to help you dial in your speed, your miles per hour, but also your odometer reading, so to make that most accurate. So we'll go back up and just set this at the 26, and then I'm going to hit I to go back down again with the minus. We got the motor. Uh, 500 watt geared is by default. You may have a direct drive, so if you click that, you have two options, 500 watt direct drive or 500 watt geared. We'll leave that. We'll go to battery. Battery is important. You're going to choose the battery that you have. If you have one of ours, we do have 48.9, 48.10, 48.14, 48.20, and then it goes to 48 SLA if you should have one of those, or 36 volt SLA. If you had a 36 volt lithium ion, you could use the SLA setting, or you could use DIY. DIY is for third party batteries, so if you have your own battery, you want to bring that with your e bike kit system, you can use this. Now, when you click on DIY, it's going to open up this screen. It's going to be all 40. This has to be programmed, and these are the 10 segments, each standing for 10%. You would have to know your discharge curve, and 10 would be your highest voltage, so you would use your plus to go up here. For a 48-volt battery, you may, for example, be around 52. The important point is, once you get that set, then you click I, you move to the second number in your discharge curve, and uh, you're going to go up there. This number above the preceding is not going to ever going to be able to go above the one preceding it. Okay, you can't make a funky curve. You can only make a, a true discharge curve. So I'm going to get out of this. And once you choose one of those other batteries, uh, for example, when you choose 48.9, which is what we have connected right now, um, that's going to override that DIY. So 99% of people are not going to use DIY. You're going to choose one of our batteries. So we'll get out of battery. Current limit 20 is the top. You can certainly go down if you wanted to limit the overall power of the system. It's going to limit the current. We'll leave that at 20. Pedal assist settings. If you get into there, you can get into the delay, the power, and the sensitivity. And again, that's in your manual if you want to know what those are. And you can mess with those to really fine tune your pedal assist settings. So we will get back out of here. Drive setting is next. Drive setting is power is pedal assist with throttle override. So if you click the I button, you'll get over here. Pedal assist with throttle override means you have pedal assist. And then when you hit the throttle, it overrides pedal assist. 
If you go on to that, there are three options. That's pedal assist with throttle override by default. Then you have throttle only if you wanted to disable pedal assist. And then you have pedal assist only, which is uh, in no throttle. You would disable the throttle. So we'll leave it on the default with the override. The next one would be LCD luminance. And in that case, you can turn this down or turn this up. And then we'll go down to trip reset. If you're on a trip and you want to reset, you get over there, click yes, hit the I, and then you're cleared. And then we'll go back. So overall, that's it. Now, one of the key things here is this zero. When you have the zero on, you're not going to have anything from your throttle or your pedal assist. Basically, you can ride your bike and have your LCD on. However, you hit the plus button. You got one, two, three, four, five. And those are all level of power, one being the least and five being access to all your power. Uh, again, to shut this off, let me just say that when you uh, make any kind of changes whatsoever, you do want to uh, hold down the power button and you do want to cycle this off and then back on for those changes to take effect. So that is the latest model LCD, full color from Electric Bike Technologies. I hope you find it helpful.